Hey, good morning, Alicia. Hey. I heard about your burst pipe problem that flooded your house. How is it now? It not only flooded my bedroom, it damaged my ceiling. The repairs cost me a bomb. Thankfully, I have my emergency fund. Emergency fund? Yeah. What's that? You don't have one? No, I earn enough and I don't overspend, so I don't think I need emergency fund. Yeah, but that's still extremely risky. You see what happened to me. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, how do you start? No, no, no. How do you know how much do you need for an emergency fund? Simple. It's the sum of your monthly fixed expenses for your food, groceries, loans and financing repayments. Medical emergencies that are not insured. Repay expenses for home or car. Whoa! Quite scary if anything happens. I don't earn enough to cover all that right now. It's never too late. Just put aside a fixed but responsible amount and build it up over time. For example, you can even start as low as 500 ringgit. Six months of your monthly expenses should be your aim. If you need 2,500 ringgit a month for your essentials and bills, then 15,000 ringgit is your goal. Oh, are there any ways to help my emergency funds grow? There are lots. Look for high interest saving accounts or fixed deposits or simple investment accounts like Term Investment Account I. So long as it can be accessed easily during emergencies and the money is separated from your everyday spending account. Wow, sounds like a solid plan. Thanks for the tips, Alicia.